Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na country Sunday, Monday, number 23 day for the month of May 2022. My name na Kapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King, on our own countryman. On our welcome for this our daily podcast, a program where we bring meaningful information for na fact based analysis for help we navigate this journey to our freedom the journey to the independence of ambazonia good citizens of ambazonia as for the tens and hundreds of thousands and the millions of ambazonian across our territory closed their shops today packed their bikes packed their taxis stopped their businesses to take part in this 5 year old ghost town sit home protest to demonstrate their will to continue to resist cameroon occupation to reject every form of union with the republic to cameroon and stand for the complete separation and independence of their homeland the former british southern cameroons ambazonia we have come through the week where we have witnessed our people demonstrated complete political isolation from the republic to cameroon by massively boycotting their 20th may celebration despite the campaign of bribery and threat from the cameroon military no significant number of our funds not even those who have been dining with the enemy had participated in this their so called fraud of a day of national unity ambazonia have completely rejected this fraud of la republic du cameroun union with ambazonia the events of this 20th may has given the ambazonian people an eye and window into the mundus operandi of the enemy there have been two visible betrayer and traitors that are compromising the will and the demand of over 8 million ambazonians one of them are the tongtu people the la republic citizens in bamenda and also in few spotted places in the atlantic state who were promised to be given bike if they participated in this year 20th may we saw them all of them in bamenda that took part were in upstation and in sisia quarter bamenda we have taken note of that we have also taken note that the government schools of la republic du cameroun that were being forced viciously by the community in ngwa and some few other places that we have seen especially in kambe were all to be used by la republic du cameroun as political tools to project themselves in ambazonia it had nothing to do with the education of our people but it has everything to do to humiliate them and use their own to provoke their people we shall take action to close down every cameroon government school that operates in ambazonia we are asking on all our civilians all our citizen volunteers in areas where cameroon government schools are still operating under the radar to come up provide the intelligence and we will equip them to close down those schools these schools are not just learning centers they are propaganda machine they are people being bred by the enemy's foot to be used against the aspiration and freedom and economic empowerment of their own people we shall not tolerate that any longer we want to take this moment and salute the bravery for those southern cameroonians those ambazonians who have joined la republic du cameroun as teachers not because they want to save the enemy but simply because they are looking for food to feed their family they have demonstrated great patriotism despite the threat from their pedagogic officers and the colonial sdos and dios they have resisted and they have stayed at home for over 89% of them they did not participate in this charade and fraud they did not humiliate and insult their own people in the face of a genocide we are at war we do not have the luxury to play with the enemy to play with this snake this bat snake that continue to roam around our street ready to kill on sight with any least provocation they take no prisoners they respect no international laws they are barbarians an imminent threat to the survivor and the livelihood of our people 
we will continue to engage our citizen volunteers and we call on our citizens to rise up and pick up arms and fight for the liberation of our territory. All civilians, hand in hand with the armed forces, fight together as one man to kick the occupier out of our land. Because I know they are trying to take me down. But even if I'm not around, don't forget. You don't owe them child support. Don't forget the crimes they've committed against us. We, this generation, will defeat Cameroon in battle. They said they could fight. They said they had trained bees. They had United States provided tanks and warplanes. We want them to fight. We invite them to fight. We invite them to fight. Where them day. Where them day. Watana Wata. Ambazonians don't be fooled. They fooled us before, not this generation. This is the never again generation that has decided to write the last chapter of its own history. To pen down the story of General Ivo, the bravery of our patriots who fought in trenches with ten guns. The stakes are high. Negotiations is not to give you freedom. It's to maintain the status quo. To maintain stability for international exploitation and conspiracy against our own humanity. They are coming to talk for the liberation of our detainees, our prisoners of war. They come like Trojan horses with bayonets to murder our patriots volunteers. My fellow people, The kind of country we want to leave to the next generation is one where people find peace and happiness and hope. Where people can love, even in poverty, they can transform their own society to reflect the kind of society they want to build. We want to build a country where he can walk in and feel at home, where she can walk in and feel at home. We want to build a country where if you are a hairdresser, you take pride in creating beauty. If you are a farmer, you are happy producing cassava, being able to turn it into Gary and find the market 6,000 kilometers away. Where we can have a curriculum of education that empowers our people to capture the creative energy of sunlight and power every home. We want to make sure you can capture the rain of the raining season and make sure you can still eat fresh fruit in the dry season. We want to build a country where you can find peace, you can unite your body and your soul and have hope even in poverty. We want to build a country for all of you. So when your final days shall come and you bequeath to the next generation something better than was given to you. That's why you've taken time off to come to this hall today. You're the finest. You are the bravest. You are the warriors of our war of independence. Don't let anyone fool you. I stand between you and your colonizers. And I'll make sure you're going to have your freedom. <clears throat> freedom is a universal currency. It's valid through time and space. And as a human being, you should take pride in it. I thank you for your sacrifices, for your dedication. I thank you for the investment you've made in the last years, for having hope. In this leadership, you are the grassroots. You must have taken note, as he said, 
you are the vanguard of our revolution. If you look through this hall, we have Ambazonians, professors and doctors in South Africa. You will find very few of them around. You will decide who will govern you. All those in exile must think like entrepreneurs, opportunity creators, for those battling in the bushes, for those fighting on a daily basis. I ask all of you to recommit. In the next few months, we can write Cameroon's obituary in our homeland. Thank you, fellow Ambazonians. Thank you, South Africans, for coming here tonight. God bless you. That one, that is speech from the leader of our war of liberation, where we deliver him for a visit for South Africa. We must mobilize ourselves. We must provide and sustain the arms on Ground Zero. Right now, we are having a very big, successful campaign of the 100,000 bullets. It is making a big and huge difference on the ground. I urge you to support financially the 100,000 bullets. If you have never taken part in this campaign, if you had, please do it today. We need that money for the next month to make sure Cameroon is on its foot, on its back heel, out of our land. Capo Daniel, signing off.